In the last section, we learned how to use graphic charts and images in Pentaho reports using the Pentaho report designer. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to make the Pentaho report parameterized by specifying parameters in the user interface. Starting from a previous example of a Pentaho report, we're going to add some specific parameterization. Report parameterization allows end users to customize results by entering values that limit report datasets or trigger rendering decisions. In our case, we'd like to limit the results to a single product vendor and filter the report by vehicle list. To do this, we add a report parameter using the button on the data tab of the report explorer. Defining a parameter is quite straightforward. Let's define a name, a label, a value type, and other specific characteristics. And finally, how the parameter will prompt us for the values. There are several ways to prompt for parameters. We're going to use the drop down list. The requested query will populate the drop down prompt when the report is rendered. In our case, we have to define a new query directly in the data source. We're now ready to render the report with the new parameter. As you can see, the report is not shown until the parameter is selected. From now on, any limit is defined in the query and depends on the product of vendor parameter. To do this, we use a very simple syntax directly in the data source, in the way we're going to show. That's all. Let's now see the most relevant parameter types in action. The single value list. The single selection button. And finally, the multi-values parameter. To use the multi-values parameter, you simply modify the query. And that's all. Now you can use the multi-value list to specify the parameter. Now that we can parameterize our reports, let's see how to do the parameterization using a Java environment.